Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, in today's video, we know that cruising is ramping up. Yeah, my so if it's your first cruise or your hundredth cruise, this is a simple reminder to let you know what to not take on your next Carnival cruise. In this video, we're gonna give you the 12 things not to pack on your Carnival cruise. Let's get into it. And if you stick around to the end, we're gonna throw a bonus one in there mm. that we think will be very helpful for you on your next cruise. I needed it my last trip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Item number one to leave at home, your fan, portable fan. Listen, if you are one of those people that like to sleep with the fan, you have to have it like bone chilling yeah, cold. Man. <laughs> just go ahead and ask your cabin steward on the day of embarkation to provide you with a portable fan. They will be happy to provide that for you. Leave the room in your luggage for all the stuff that you need to bring that you really don't need to bring. Second thing you need to leave home Let's is your iron and your steamers. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's I know business, man. If I know you like to have your goop iron, man, to iron your clothes and everything, but hey, Carnival provides a laundry station where you can go and iron your clothes. I know it's not the best, it's not convenient because sometimes you gotta stand in them long got on lines to wait to iron your skip, but man, we ain't trying to burn the ship down, man. <laughs> so don't bring your iron, man. Nope. Use theirs. Mm -hmm. Or you can bring yourself some downy spray, man. Yeah, wrinkle that, release. Yeah, that wrinkle release also works too, man. Yeah, it does. The third thing to leave at home is, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. They say, leave your hair dryer at home. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Just leave it like that. That's what they say. Don't take you. Don't take your hand dry. Don't shoot me. Cause we know we gonna bring our. We gonna bring our ass right. So I'm bringing my Revlon. I don't care what y'all say. Baby, bless. <laughs> Item number four that you don't need to pack, man. Now I know we all like to put on our sexy robes after we don't got out the out the shower or mm -hmm. after we don't got out the bed in the morning and whatever, whatever, whatever. But you don't have to bring a robe, man, because all you got to do is ask your cabin stewards, hey, go and get me a king and queen, got the on a uh, robe, and they will provide it for you in your room, man. Even if you don't have a spa balcony or a spa Yeah, balcony. man. So if you need that robe, they got you. They got you. Item number five, I know, the controversy with the surge protectors. You can bring <clears throat> a power strip, but you cannot bring the one with the surge protector on it. So yeah. bring your power strip by all means. Please bring your power strip because some ships they have maybe one or two outlets in the room. Yeah, man. Don't nobody got time for them kind of problems. Not with all the technology we have going on these days. So yes. bring it. Just make sure it does not have a surge protector on it. Hey, yo, now that I have your attention and whatnot, uh, what you gotta let them know? Uh, your girl, see, cause y'all been hitting my, my website talking about some, I'm interested in all inclusive vacations. Well, I got one. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? August this year, mm -hmm, the end of August, we going to Riviera Maya. All inclusive vacations to Unico. Yeah, Go ahead and look it up. Look up Unico 20. See how bad this place is. Yeah, man. We going up over there, me, three to four other travel agents. We done blocked off a whole bunch of rooms, some swim up suites, and we're about to do the darn thing. So if you were passport ready, you got your $200 deposit down. When the booking link comes available, yes. and if you want to go, I suggest you hit the link down below so that you could be the one of the first ones to know because the swim up suites are few and far in between. Yeah, man. So before I even let y'all know about it, I'm gonna book mine first. It's just the way it's gonna happen. <laughs> but yeah, if y'all are ready and y'all want to vacation all inclusively, fly up over there in a group setting, hit me up. We gonna have a good time. Yeah. Nothing's planned. It's just R and R. Good time, good vibes. Yes, indeed. Let's go. Item number six that you should not pack is hard liquor and your beer. I know, I know when you went on the carnival site and you saw like their liquor, it's like two or three times more than it calls at the stove. But I'm sorry, man, you got to do it. Now, I didn't tell you this, uh -oh. so you got to proceed with this at your own caution that some people, you know, buy these things called rum runners and they slip them in a bag and hoping that they won't find them. Uh, so if you, you talking about? if you decide to try to do that, it's on you. You didn't hear that from me. I'm telling you to buy it on the boat. 
Item number seven. Listen, I don't <laughs> care what state you sailed out of. I don't care what kind of card you carry. Right. I, we don't care about none of that. Your legal and illegal narcotics, you just going to have to be on this cruise without without your right. your, your, your puff puff, your gear, <laughs> your bar, your bag. All of that needs to just stay at home. I don't care. Yeah. So y'all will hit me in the comments be like, but, but in California, no, no. When you get out of the sea, you have to go by maritime law. Maritime yeah. law said no CBD products. Nope. No, no, uh, no weed. No. Nope. Like, you know, I don't get it, but. Even if you got a medical marijuana card, it, it just ain't gonna work. So, it, you, so, but, on, hey. so on this cruise, you gonna have to get turned with the left of mine. That's it. Or like he said in the last tip, we can't really tell you what to do. So if you decide to proceed, proceed with caution, that's on you. At your own risk. At your own risk. Don't yeah. you say we said it. <laughs> Item number eight that oh. you don't need to pack, but you need to pack, but you can't pack, <laughs> is handcuffs. Now, I, I, hey. I, I know that we got quite a few people that like to get freaky on the weekend and during the week. When you can, man. You yeah. like to role play and all that good stuff with your handcuffs. Why are you play looking in my face? Doing cops and robbers and all that good stuff, you know, to spice up the sex life. But unfortunately, man, Connor won't let you bring them handcuffs. But now, I'm going to tell you I what didn't you... tell you. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I will tell you what you can do, though. You got to be creative, you know. Just go around to Walmart or Target and get you the cheapest pair of pantyhose that you... Yeah, I'm, I'm that age. Pantyhose. Just get you... It works the same. Works the same. Say, hey, baby, you the prisoner of the night. Mm -hmm. go make, hand, let me go handcuff you real quick with, hey, these, hey. with these panties. And make sure, <laughs> make sure you bring an eyebrow razor so you can get, you, get yourself up out of them, uh, them pantyhose. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Woo! Item number nine to leave at the house. Listen, I know that they make them in the portable little cute little size that look like a little sippy cup, that look like a little tumbler, all of that. Get it. I've seen them on cruises myself. I'm like, ooh, that's pretty cool. They say you're not supposed to have a hookah machine yeah. out there at sea. I'm just telling you as a travel agent, <laughs> shout outs to me if you need somebody to book your cruise. I got you, Code Fun Travel. Yes, indeed. Dot com. I mean, just, just come on through. But uh, 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 you can't bring it. Yeah. Technically. So yeah, man, I know you wanted to bring your hookah machine or like one of our friends say your hoopa machine. machine. <laughs> Gotta keep it at home, man. And we're in the age of shots, hookah and fashion over, but I'm mean, you gonna have to <laughs> you gonna have to leave one of them at home. Bring your fashion over, you can get your shots, but the hookah, the hookah stays home. <laughs> Item number 10 to not pack candles. And incense. I, I buzz kill, man. I, I know you like your lavender candles and you like your Indian chief uh, <laughs> incense. <laughs> black cherry. Well, black cherry, all that good stuff, man. But you but you can't bring them on the ship, man. I, I know, I know. It goes with the handcuffs. Yeah. They you know, buzz killing. They, yeah, they buzz killing us, man. You know. But battery so, operated candles got you covered. But they just Do don't that. they don't put off no scent though, man. So Hey, just bring you some air freshener. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, fake it till you make it back home. <laughs> Things number 11 to leave at the house. Now, this is one of the things I'm going to tell you. I can't tell you what to do and what not to do, but I'm telling you right now that if you want some extra action, you can do this. But if you don't want the extra action, don't wear, don't bring, don't hang up on your door, anything that has anything to do with pineapples. I don't care if you have an infatuation <laughs> with pineapples or unicorns if your child is sailing with you and they just love <clears> unicorns <throat> my little pony all of that tell them that you can't put my little pony on the door because you're gonna have somebody at the, in, in the middle of the night that's gonna be like you <laughs> and if you got an adjoining room they just might on from the inside <laughs> you <laughs> And if you don't know what unicorns mean, if you don't know what any of that stuff means, pineapples, Google it. Google it. Yeah. And you can't, it goes along with the handcuffs <clears throat> and, the, and the candles and all of that. So I'm gonna tell you what she just said. If you ain't into threesomes, foursomes, and all that, don't bring any of that stuff. <laughs> Schwanging. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it at home. Yeah. 
Don't wear no flip flops. They got pineapples <laughs> under the sea on it. None of it. <laughs> Item number 12 to not pack. Hey, you don't have to bring no beach towels because Carnival got some nice and thick. They off there. Beast towels, they are perfect. So you don't even have to bring your good towel. Just go and leave that in your uh, linen closet and say that when you go to a beach that don't provide towels. Right? <laughs> Real fast. Yeah. You can even take it out on your excursions. Just bring it back. Right. Bring it back. Yeah, bring it back here <laughs> to the carnival shit. Because they're going to charge you for it. Exactly. And them towels like $20-something, man. In fact, I think the last cruise on that thing, it was $22. $22. Yeah. You want to pay $22 for, for uh, um, a lost beach towel? No. Yeah. Bonus tip number 13. Yeah, of my items that you should leave behind. Listen, a lot of us have ventured into buying the alcohol package, which is called Cheers on Carnival, where you get your 15 drink. Y'all know, y'all know yeah, the yeah, rules. Yeah. If you're a drinker, you know the rules by now. But these are the things that you should leave behind only if right. you purchase that package. We should have did this on our last cruise, but we bought the package and then we ended up taking on our soda and we ended up bringing on our wine. And guess what we didn't do? Drink any of it or nope. pre-purchase your water. Don't do that as well because all of those things are included in your Cheers packet. You probably yep. say, well, what if I get thirsty in the middle of the night? Ask them for your cans of soda. They will give it to you and you can take it back to your room, put it in your refrigerator. Yep. What if I get thirsty and I want some water? They will give you the good water. Yep. You hear me? Nice the big Pella, ones the too. Pellegrino yeah, water. Yeah, man. Yeah. Take that water. Yep. Go to the hibachi spot or to the sushi spot. They got the best waters and they'll give it to you in the glass jars. Yeah. So you don't, Fire. Need, yeah, you don't need to go and you don't need to bring any of that stuff. We ended up throwing away, well, leaving it behind. Yeah. All of our water, all of our sodas, and our bottles of wine. Because mm -hmm. with the Cheers package, we just did it on the ship. And if I wanted a glass of wine to, to nightcap it off, I just got a glass of wine from the casino bar and went, went to my room. Yep. So that alone... Well, say you say you a little bit of money. Every every little bit helps. And your luggage. Right. You ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> exactly. All right, if you enjoyed this video of the 13 things you should not pack for your next cruise, you want to check out this video right here of the 10 things that you should not do on a carnival cruise. And we're going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.